Hi guys, Merry Christmas from Confidence Labs and we are back with one more video for you guys. In this video, I'm gonna tell you some sources from where you can learn iOS development and which will be helpful for both beginners and professionals. Okay, so let's start. First of all, we have divided these sources into different categories and the first category would be tutorial websites. So there are plenty of tutorial websites out there which regularly post tutorials on iOS development which helps the whole iOS developer community a lot. Okay. So the first one that we are going to focus on is ravenderlist.com. So this uh, website has a wide range of tutorials posted by professionals. Not only iOS, this website also covers cover other technologies like uh, Android, Unity, etc. Okay, but their main strength is iOS. Okay, and the tutorials are written in such a way that even while reading a lengthy tutorial, it never gets boring. Every tutorial posted by this website is full of professional level knowledge. Okay, you can also buy some books written by their professional team from this website. Okay, uh, this website also have a Swift Algorithm Club which you can join. Okay, uh, this uh, Swift Algorithm Club has some awesome tutorials on algorithm return in Swift. Okay, so you can try this Swift Algorithm Club. Okay, one of the tutorials that I'll recommend from this site is uh, a tutorial on core graphics. Okay, so basically if uh, you want to create uh, some custom views like uh, like this if you want to create some custom views like this so you can refer this uh, core graphics tutorial okay so it will be very helpful for you there are some other uh, websites too and every website has its own uh, unique selling point uh, appcoda.com code.tutsplus.com then medium.com I personally like this medium.com a lot because uh, this website has some tutorials uh, which are beyond some boring topics and uh, uh, few tutorials that I can uh, that I could uh, recommend uh, you from this site are uh, the one on architectural patterns and the one on reactive programming so you can also check them out okay so now let's move on to our next category which are video tutorials so nowadays there are plenty of YouTube channel which post lectures and videos on iOS app development. One of them is Jerry Davidson. You can check out his YouTube channel and you may find some useful tutorials on iOS app development. Uh, one uh, other channel that I could recommend you is Pragma Mark. Pragma Mark posts conference and lectures on advanced iOS app development topics like backend driven UI and reactive programming. Uh, I can also refer you other multiple uh, YouTube channels like Code with Chris, Geeky Lemon, Brian Advent, Let's Build That App via software. Funza Academy. I personally like uh, tutorials posted by Funza Academy a lot. Duck Tran Learn, SlideNerd. Uh, SlideNerd has uh, most of its tutorial on Android, but I like this channel, so that's why I referred it to you guys. But the best ever source to learn iOS development is is to learn iOS development directly from Stanford lecture. Uh, you can uh, search iOS Stanford over YouTube. Then you can find lectures by Paul, uh, by Professor Paul Hagarty, or otherwise you can uh, click this red text here, and it will take you to the YouTube channel of Stanford. Okay, so here you can see the complete iOS app development course from Stanford University. So this is the best ever source from where you can learn iOS app development. So let's move on to our last uh, last category, that is books. Bo uh, I believe books always contains the content that you hardly find somewhere else. So I always recommend that we should read a new book every month to stay updated with the technology. So the first book that I'll recommend is Protocol Oriented Programming iOS. Okay, so this is the uh, best book that I have ever read. Okay, so I'll recommend this book to every iOS developer. Okay, so let's move to next one, Protocol Oriented Programming. Swift 3. So this is the Swift 3 edition of the book that I just mentioned above. Okay, so you uh, I haven't read it, but you can try this one too. Okay, so the third one is reactive programming, a book on reactive programming. Reactive programming these days is quite a hot topic among iOS developer. So this is the uh, this is a decent book on reactive programming. Okay, so let's move to the next one, Sprite Kid games. So if you're interested in creating 2D games using Sprite Kid, then this book is one of the best resource. Uh, to learn sprite kit okay so this book uh, teaches you everything step by step uh, it's almost like spoon feeding okay so you can try this book swift high performance so this book uh, tells you how to use swift at its best the starting uh, starting few chapters are quite boring but as you will proceed you will get some serious practical and theoretical knowledge about the swift so you can try this book 
the next one is algorithms unlocked so this book is written by Coleman and I guess the name is enough to explain the book itself okay so the last book that I would recommend is cookbook iOS 10 uh, I've read the iOS 9 edition uh, but I didn't found it uh, much useful uh, but you can try uh, the iOS 10 edition okay uh, the Android edition of this book is very very awesome okay but uh, I'm not pretty sure about the iOS edition okay but still you can try it and let me know okay so github github not just not uh, only host our code but it could also be a solution to our problem so as we know github has millions of public repositories so we can search among them suppose if I'm looking for a collection view in Swift 3 then I can search github too okay and like uh, here we go collection view Swift 3 so um, by searching uh, collection view Swift 3 I get multiple projects uh, as a result okay so I can check out any project download them or uh, I can test them by uh, executing them on my Xcode okay so github could also be a solution for your problem one more solution of your problem could be cocoa controls cocoa control is a website that uh, hosts around 5000 of UI components open source libraries so if you're looking for any uh, fancy view for your app then you can uh, search among these UI components okay so if you found our videos uh, useful then you can like our video share our video or subscribe our channel and if you're looking for Skype online classes for iOS or Android, you can contact us on this number or you can write a query on confidence labs at the rate gmail.com. So bye bye for now.